Well, somebody suggested, knowing that I use a jig like this to uh, work on, for instance, the head of a mountain man or a horse's head or some detail like a hand or anything like that, and I'm always put, putting a wire into a piece of wood and then putting a screw next to the wire to hold it steady. Well, he suggested I try this. Get a chuck for a drill and uh, put it in a hole, which I'm going to do right now. And then uh, this is one I, I had of, uh, that I started a long time ago on something else. And then instead of drilling a hole to match the wire's diameter, just put it inside the truck and work on it that way. And that works perfectly. Thank you for that suggestion. This cost less than a dollar, ten dollars, on Amazon, and uh, I just got it yesterday, so I thought I'd try it out today. I'm feeling great this morning, so let's get to work on my clay. Time to play with some clay. Alright, I first thing I'm gonna do I while I'm waiting for my uh super sculpty to warm up a little, I'm going to go ahead and put clay on this uh base, which is a uh cardboard tube that was uh in a package uh to protect some item that I received from uh, Amazon, I think it was can't remember exactly what it was that it was protecting, but uh, it works really well for making a base and making it completely round, which perfectly round, which is really handy when you're trying to make a base out of wood to have at least the uh, base round. I'm babbling. <laughs> I'm feeling great today, guys. Uh, thank you for all your wishing that I was feeling better and all that stuff. I wasn't really all that serious. I just didn't want to make it worse than what it was. Um, so I just decided to take a couple of days and get catch up on some rest and, uh, I believe that did me some good. All right, I'm just going to go over it with my uh, putty knife to even out the uh, surface, but also give it a nice texture. Alright, this is a little blowtorch that I've got. I'm going to hit the uh, clay on the base with this just to give it a different texture. Melt the clay a little bit. Alright, what I'm doing is I'm making his fingers. But I've got to give some movement to the fingers. His fingers will be together. And, uh...
Well, it's hard to explain exactly what I'm doing here, but I will show you in just a few minutes. I've got to back the fingers with solid clay so they're not going to be moving around once I place it. I'm sorry, it's hard to show this while I'm working on it, but uh, let's see how this will look. that's working perfectly but I should have probably done this hand first I'm interfering the other hand now. Let me see something. Oh yeah, I can take the hand right off. That works better.
tendons on. Oop, got too far over. There we go. Okay, I'm going to put his knuckles on. All right, I'm going to paint the hand. And this will show me what I need to correct with real clay. My regular clay. Okay, I'm, I started the knife sheath. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell the camera to start recording. Okay, I've got to... Uh shake this uh, a little bit better. There we go. All right, there's a place where he would put the belt through. Okay, I'm making brass tacks. They have to all be the same size, so. Can't really see what I'm doing. Too flat. Hold on. I mounted the uh, knife sheath on a board, tilted, so I can see what the heck I'm doing. It's hard to see when it's flat and with cameras all over it.
Well, as you can see, I put the uh, knife sheath in place. Now I've got to put the belt going across the knife sheath and uh, around his waist. It would put a strain on the belt, the soft leather, or even the hard leather. And so it's got to have some form to the belt. There we go. And then I'll blend all the clothing in to and around the knife in the nice sheath next time and that will just about do it all right i'll finish up uh this piece this week and uh, I like the way it's turning out I'm gonna have to do a little more work back here of course you know up here but uh, he's pretty much close to being done I got to do the arm here get it uh, fleshed in but the hand turned out pretty good it's not great it's it's better than what I thought it would turn out, but uh, I can work on that just a little bit more, maybe. But uh, other than that, I think uh, everything's working out just fine. All right, everybody. See you next time. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.